Just remember the five D's of the Crucible. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. So, you want to get better at the Crucible, or you want to at least have a better time in the Crucible. However way you spin it, that is the context of today's video. Welcome back everyone to another Embrace Destiny video. Thank you very much for clicking that link and joining us. Been a while, but I uh, finally settled some work things and I'm back to making videos for you. So today's video is all about the Crucible, specifically working on some fundamentals, some basics that I think could be really helpful for most players. If you're anything like me and my clan, uh, we actually spend most of our time outside the Crucible. Uh, strikes and just general PvE activities and I find that playing those activities can really mess with your perspective when you jump into the Crucible. Destiny's PvP has a lot of very specific hidden uh, rules and strategies that uh, really need to be aware of if you're going to be successful. So for today's run I'm just running with some standard run-of-the-mill weapons, I'm running with uh, an SMG from year one, a bow, and a grenade launcher. Control. The key here is not to show you how you can do well if you have the best RNG or the best weapons, the best rolls or perks. It's how you can improve your gameplay through simple fundamentals. No zones means no victory. So when you play in PvE, I find that most players, uh, they play in a similar manner. You have basically two modes of movement in PvE. Essentially static, or uh, let's just call it heroic. So by heroic, I mean, as a titan, I'm running in there, you know, fist first, I'm jumping high into the air, hunters are launching their, uh, their shadow shots. Oh, I missed. That's too bad. You know, everybody's jumping, everybody's jumping high into the air and, uh, basically exposing themselves to the enemy when they really, really shouldn't be, of course out of here. But when you get into the crucible, you can't really do that. If you jump high into the air like this all the time, the enemy knows where you're going to be. Due to physics, they know exactly how long you're going to be in the air. Um, and you find yourself you find yourself in danger a lot. Humans have a better aim, better shot, uh, and they can, they can confuse you through excellent movement. So that's what we're going to work on. Another thing to remember is that guardians are all the same height. So if you walk around a corner or run around a corner like this, you're pretty much just asking to get sniped or, or shot in the head. Because an enemy can just look down that lane, focus their weapon, as soon as they see any indication you're there, they fire, they hit you in the head. So remember that, all guardians are the same height. Approach corners unpredictably. Come in vertically, slide in. Oh, hold on, somebody to my immediate right. You see that? I'm not approaching any of these corners. Any sense of predictability. I don't want the enemy to know where I'm going to be. And you have to remember at all times that no matter what the meta is, the meta is going to come and go and you may see some weapons a lot more common, a lot more popular. Uh, pulse rifles or shotguns or whatever. Remember that snipers exist. And people who snipe are generally really good with them. Zone B so, lost. they're not going to miss unless you make it uh, more challenging for them to hit you. So even though I'm not, uh, even though just here, I'm not really, you know, I'm not really going anywhere. I'm not coming around the corner like this. I'm still sliding. I'm still moving unpredictably. Why? One, it's just good practice. And two, there is a possibility the enemy is around. Um, maybe they have a good angle on you. I don't know. The fact is, is that you just need to make yourself harder to hit. So let's capture this control point, and then we'll use our super, and we'll talk about it a little more. Okay, enemies coming in here. They're going to be coming from point A. Uh, there's one here. I don't need to bother with him. It's only one person. I'm going to get attacked from both sides here. That's fine. I don't want to spawn camp. Block for the team. 
No seed loss. There we go. So here's a pretty bad situation for me. I may have a bow, which is long distance, but that long sight line is a lot better for snipers, faster firing scout rifles, etc. So you saw, as soon as I got there, I moved, I moved to cover. And that's how, that's what you gotta do, is you gotta try and reduce, oh, hold on. I'm out of here. Got missed with his Nova Bomb, being chased. That's fair. I, I got chased by the whole team. Zone A lost. Your enemy has a power play. So if you're playing with a more uh, close uh, quarters, um, there we go. If you're playing with a more close quarters or medium uh, ground uh, equipment set, then make sure to use your cover as much as possible. Now, another uh, movement strategy you may have seen me do here. Uh, hold on, I'm out of here. You may have seen me use, especially as a Titan, is this kind of uh, lateral sideways glide. Uh, so, Titans have a pretty prolonged jump that they can use. Where's this guy? Ah, oh, there he is. He's distracted. Oh, nope. nope. That's fair. I was out of position. They have a pretty long jump, and they can jump and glide through the air. Now, uh, Warlocks can do this, but it's a little slower. So I can do things like this. Let's say I want to run up that way, and I want to... I know there's enemies to the right. Well, I could run like this, and I could run, and I could go like this. I could even aim down my sights, spin around the corner, and fire. But I'm moving predictably. They know where I am. So I'm going to go with some height, and I'm going to turn, aim down the sights as I'm looking down the corner. They've taken your lead. Kind of ignoring the actual enemy at hand, but okay. Yeah, you rush me, shotgunner. That's fine. So you can do things like that, where you can aim down your sights as you're approaching a corner, save yourself a little bit of time. Drag them back. Ooh, good chaos reach. Especially with something like a bow or something that has a very high, uh, a low handling uh, perk stat, sorry. It takes a long time for it to uh, to aim properly around C. corners. So I aim, turn, fire. Okay, I hit him. Wasn't a precision Zone shot. Zone All right. Is yours. Now that was my bad in a way. I flat footed it around the corner. He knew where I was going to be. I dropped his grenade. But I was pretty confident I could finish him. And I did. Depends on if you want to trade or not. Couldn't save my teammate. Let's save the point. Fight for vengeance. Now, I saw that the shotgunner was going to be there. So I jumped into the air to avoid him just taking me out. Because shotgunner, shotgun can take you out of your super. It does happen. So let's review. Slide around corners, slide to cover, um, use your vertical space, jump around corners as well. Oh god. Now, <laughs> let's just get out of that. That was bad. Oh, I thought they were going to come around here. That's fine. Now look at that. Now, he killed me there because I was just illustrating a point, but most players think two-dimensionally in this game. And if you can use your height, if you can slide under them, slide past them, you'll confuse the heck out of them. Let's play a life where we don't... Oh, hold on. Where all we do is we dodge. We run. Okay, let's play a second life, because, you know. <laughs> once you've, uh, once you've fought with an enemy, um... Once you engage with an enemy, they know where you are, and they pretty much know where you're going to go. They might see you on the radar, they can see little bits. So the next thing you can do is, if you need to disengage from a fight, then you got to move unpredictably. Watch some players who play this game on the on the PC. They move in amazingly unpredictable ways. Un oh yeah, I heard him charging his thunder crash, but... 
So rather than moving like this, this time. All right, right of time on this match. And that's fine. Hopefully, this gives you a bit of guidance. Um, I'm gonna quickly jump out of here and load up a private match, just so that I can give you an uninterrupted control uh, environment where I show you what I mean. So we recapped all the specific uh, yet separate skills, going around corners and, and and viewing corners, such like that. Will this work? Sure, why not? Sliding, very effective. It closes the gaps with the, with the enemy. It's great if you're using a shotgun. Um, other thing to be aware of is uh, you will disappear off the radar momentarily if you are crouched the radar will blink, which can uh, cause you to dis distract an enemy or confuse them as to your exact location. The other thing is that the radar is actually slightly color-coded, so if you are on the same vertical level as, as an opponent, they will show up as a dark red or a darker color on your minimap radar. If you are above or below them, it's a slightly Control. different color, but sometimes that's enough to confuse enemies. They think Surely you're on the same level, but you're above them, you're beneath them. The so let me show you how I would run around this map if I was playing with other people. Obviously right here, I'm pretty exposed. I could be killed in a number of different ways. So I'm moving, I'm sliding, right? Let's say I know I'm coming over here and I know the enemy could be here using that long sight line. So Maybe, you know, maybe I just get one shot ready and I move from cover to cover. Maybe I just want to screw with them and then get out of there. So I do one of these. All right. Barely exposed for any length of time. I probably could die if they were aiming down the site, if they were shooting a Wardcliff coil or something. But I just threw a grenade without barely any interaction. Now let's say I rush to enemy's point, point C, and I realize as I get there that two or three blink on the radar. Oh, okay, back up. Jump high into the air, I back up, I use my boost. What else could I do? So I move back like this, where am I gonna go? Slide around here, slide. Try to use your cover as much as possible. Try to have an escape plan as well. That's another thing, is once you get used to the maps, you can kind of get used to where the cover is. Maybe you're still new, but try to have an escape plan in mind. All right, so a lot of times you spawn back here. Most players will come up here. La la la. They run up, they get to about here, and boom, there's four players hard scoping down that lane. Now you have a number of strategies you can do. You can move this way, but unless you're quick, you'll probably die. Easiest would be to move here, right? You lower the, you completely block the line of sight. However, it leaves you open to things like grenades. So, you can move here, but if you do, you should quickly slide way over here. Maybe all the way back if you need to regroup. Maybe start again. No problem in doing that. Another thing you could do is you could you can move over here. Now, an advantage that hunters have over uh, titans and warlocks is your jump is actually faster than uh, than a titans. I've said this before and I'll say it again, but check this out. If I want to jump, uh, I'm using the strafe jump on the titan right now, and I could use something like catapult lift. All right, here's strafe jump. That's how fast, that's how fast I get verticality on it. And load up the menu here, catapult lift. Okay, so that's a bit faster, All right? But I'm pretty sure that playing on a hunter, it's actually even faster to jump straight up or to jump from side to side. So how, how do we use that? Well, let's say we know that there's some enemies in here. We don't know if they're completely going to be focused. So as a Titan, I would glide around the corner like this, right? Seen that before. Jump, glide, aim, land, shoot. Could go your way. Maybe even shoot before you Could land. Kind of one of these. Right? If I knew someone was there. As a hunter, you can probably jump in and jump out or dodge out using one of your dodges faster than most. Other things you could do, um, you could come into the air like this, 
Now most most weapons lose accuracy in the air, so you gotta be careful about that. It depends what you're using. But you can still do it. If the enemy is hurt, you might as well. Uh, if the enemy is hurt, even a badly placed shot uh, is still better than nothing. Still better than letting them heal. Right? Or you could slide. Right? Bring that weapon up. You also don't have to aim down sights. You can just fire the weapon. Right? Depends on the situation. So let's move. Let's start from spawn. We'll move across the map. Put it all together and then we'll wrap up this video. Alright, so you spawn in. Okay, nobody on the map. Points are, are open. Maybe you go to take this point. Maybe your team is already taking it. Fine. You come across. Nobody there. You come over here. Heavy's up. You don't see anyone on your radar, but remember, snipers exist. So rather than coming straight up here, even even like this, rather than doing that, slide your way up here and get yourself ready. Keep an eye out, there might be somebody over here. Right? Keep your keep your back to a wall, keep part of you to a wall so you know nobody can be behind you. All right, I don't see anybody on the radar. I want to get over there. Slide. Get up there. What's that you've Pick got? it up. And then get out of there because as soon as you're in a place for too long, they know where you are. Now that's pretty slow actually. If you were to do that for real, it would look like this. Three minutes. It's close. See what I mean? So it's all... It's all about that quick motion. Let's go with a hand cannon just to finish things off. Uh, most players are running with hand cannons these days, so... Just to show you kind of... Let's start from the other spawn and do the same thing and then wrap this up. Once now you're gonna get you're gonna get killed a lot in the crucible. That's what it is. That's why it's called the crucible. You gotta grind out all those bad bad habits. The other thing you gotta be aware of is that the enemy could be sniping you from across the map in a lane. Like somebody could be there. You don't know. You don't even see them on your radar. So you can't stay too still for too long. Most players, as I said, I see they'll they'll run, they'll run like this, you know, they'll go up here, they see heavy, maybe they aim, okay, they jump up, they take it, and they're out of there. And you're moving in a pretty straight line. Yeah, you're zigzagging, but there's nothing about your movement that's unpredictable, really, other than two-dimensionally. So if you want to play a little bit more careful, you slide up, okay. Give your movement unpredictable as well. Look at this. I'm sliding here. I jump here. Play hot potato. Play the floor is lava. Just don't stop moving. Go make them One thing cry. that you can do in the Crucible to uh, improve your um, durability is play around where you don't even uh, you don't even fire your gun. All right, your gun skill's probably fine. You play enough of this game, and that's all there is is shooting. But when you play a lot of PvE, you get kind of used to the fact that, yeah, you know, you'll live, you'll be fine. The enemy doesn't know where you are, they don't track you, they don't hunt you down. So, just keep your movement unpredictable. Jump out, oh, enemy sees me, I'm gone. Oh, now I can slide in, take him out, because they think I've retreated properly. Okay, go like this. Slide this way. Sliding is also good for changing direction quickly. So if I jump in, I realize, oh, there's enemy there. I can slide out a little bit more quickly. 30 seconds. Fight on. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Um, it takes a lot of practice, a lot of skill. Um, definitely go check out some uh, PvP players who do a lot more uh, content on Twitch and YouTube. I'm going to try and post a few more uh, going forward. But that's my advice is keep your movement. It's hard to control when you're not used to it, but when you get more comfortable with it, you become a terrifying specter of a nightmare, flying throughout the map. Good. Not a, no one's able to track you. You're only able to be take down through team damage, uh, supers, such like that. 
I hope this video helped. Feel free to drop some advice down Word below. Uh, if you have any comments shoulder. or anything like that, and obviously look forward to reading them. And uh, yeah, hopefully good luck out there with all of your Crucible quests, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.